A defiant UW system president, Tommy Thompson, made it clear today that when it comes to COVID-19 policies on campus, he and the Board of Regents will make the calls, not state lawmakers. The CBS 58's Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin joins us live with what Thompson had to say. Emily. Yeah, well, Thompson, to put it short, is not happy. And Republican lawmakers are now debating filing a lawsuit after UW System President Tommy Thompson said he's not going to comply with a rule that Republican lawmakers passed, which gives them the final say on which COVID-19 protocols fall on UW campuses. Let me open up the schools like I did last year. Let me operate them in a safe way. UW System President Tommy Thompson has a message for Republican lawmakers who are attempting to take control over which COVID-19 policies are enacted on campus. Don't tie my hands. Let me run the university. Thompson is feuding with Republican lawmakers who claim university officials need a committee's approval before implementing COVID-19 protocols. It's a rule Thompson says he won't comply with. Republican Senator Steve Noss fired back at Thompson, saying he has once again shown his belief in big government control over the rights of individuals to make their own health-related decisions. I don't want to fight with them, but if they want to fight with me, so be it. Bring it on. Noss is now calling on GOP leaders to file a lawsuit against the UW system. In the meantime, campuses plan to start the year with masking and testing requirements. UW officials call key to keeping campuses safe and open. We want this campus open and we'll do everything we can to keep that happening. If this if this debate ends up in the courts, UW System President Tommy Thompson tells me that he has confidence they will prevail and win. But if it lands in the state Supreme Court, which is currently 4-3 um, uh, ruled with uh, conservatives on the court, he might have a little bit more of an uphill battle of getting that victory he claims he can. Reporting at the state capitol, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.